everybody, it is Killax, and here, if you guys enjoy this video, remember that you guys should become patrons over on Patreon. Sorry, this nomad allow- <laughs> Sorry, this nomad analysis is a little- Little late. Wait, we were at a But con. we were at a convention. It turns out- it's, wow. it's, it's good that, you know, we, we, we were late on an episode that, you know, nothing dramatic happened. No, in well, of or, course not. Or anything, like, of consequence for the rest of the series. This strikes <laughs> me as, like, when <laughs> Weiss got stabbed. Okay, here's my thing. Yep. Here's my idea. Yep. Okay. I've thought long and hard about this in the five seconds since we stopped watching it and started watching something else. <laughs> or, uh, stopped watching it and started recording again, I should say. Yes. Uh, so, here's my thing. I think that because he got shot and did a good deed, mm -hmm. he got more magic, mm -hmm. so he'll be okay. Because mm -hmm. you did see his heart flash. What if you just clap out the, like, clap out the bullet and it just, like, leaves? It's just a bullet, it's like, like, I like, killed you! Ha ha! And then yeah, it away. just pops out. <laughs> no, um, but I think that the Nomad is going to be okay. Like, I think that, I don't know exactly the logistics of it, but I feel like he's not a person, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's more... He's just a bunch of a little rock thing. boys. In yeah, a exactly. Suit. So I think, I, I feel like regardless him getting shot, he'll be okay. Like... We don't know to the extent of the magic, but, like, he just, he got more for doing a, a good so thing, right? Before... So before... Maybe it's, like, Beauty and the Beast, where, like, kind... The spell is broken. Yeah, the spell he... is broken after he, like, collapses, you know what I mean? Because, like, the beast gets, like, stabbed with an arrow, and then, like, stabbed with a knife, and then, like, other things happen to him, and, like, he dies, and, like, then when the spell's broken, he gets brought back to life and all his injuries are okay you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying yeah. so maybe it's the same thing where like now the nomad did a good deed and he's okay <laughs> i don't know uh but yeah obviously this is episode nine i don't know how many episodes nomad is gonna have like i don't know if it's gonna have 10 or 12 like 10 episodes would be wild because that means that he gets shot and then the next episode would be the last one right you understand what I'm saying, Hunter? Yes. Um, but I think that there may be 12. I'm not really sure yet. Well, clearly the next two are going to follow this... This arc or arc. whatever. Um, the Nomad gets shot. So, arc. it seems like something's going to happen next episode. And I feel like here's here's how they're going to do this. Because this is like the standard for Rooster Teeth shows, I think. Yes. Ready? So, is it, do you think they're going to show Toph first. Thing? Yeah. And they're not going to show what happened to the Nomad until the end of next episode. So, they're going to show Toph hunting down Scout, then going into the mine, right, with Red Manuel mm -hmm. and, 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 er, and Scout and whatever, and then we'll see what happened to him at the end of next week's episode. But yeah. Um, somebody tell me if there's 12 or if there's 10. Please. Because that would help a lot with theory crafting, I think. But I think that, like, that's the most sort of valid, like, path that this is gonna go on, is that, like, Scout is, er, Toph is gonna be the focus for most of next episode. She is going to find, uh, Scout. They're gonna, like, see what happens to the Nomad. End of episode 10. Right? Mm -hmm. Another cliffhanger. Episode 11, like, defeating Red Manuel, and episode 12 is gonna be, like, coming down from the high, if you want to call it that. But is the champion dead? That's the question. Like, he fell off the side of a cliffy thing. I thought what but, was gonna happen But Scout was fell down gonna... a hole, and she's okay. Yeah. So I bet he just But maybe that's fell. just a bigger hole. Maybe. He could have fell and then grabbed onto something and then started climbing up, and maybe he'll be the one who takes down Red Manuel. Um, so he'll kick out I Red thought... Manuel, then the champion will be like, the Nomad's mine, and then Toph will be like, no, he's mine. Like, it'll be a three-way... A three-way triangle fight between who gets him. I Does guess, that make sense? I guessed it was going to be... I guessed that. I didn't say it out loud, which is, you know... So, I guess... It doesn't count. Believe me, but <laughs> it doesn't count in official capacity. But I did think that Toph, or rather Scout, was going to knock over the crate. The, the cart was going to hit dude. He was going to fall over and just straight up die. Because when you think about it, they've had big arc villains, for lack of a better word. Yeah, so Red Show Manuel, before. the Dawn, uh, you or know Or no, I mean? the guy with the robot arm, remember him? Yeah. He kind of reminds me of... Uh, of what, the champion? The like, champion. what's going on right now? He's just Yeah, sort so of... I feel like he's going to be gone. It was really unfortunate for me, personally, that I was monologuing about how it was just a stereotype that Red Manuel wasn't going to shoot and wouldn't happen, and, and then it did happen. Yeah, because now we can't take anything you say. But you now they're I mean? probably going to weiss it, right? 
I mean, like, oh, I think so. Cause imagine show, if it really was just... The show has to go on, you know? It's called yeah. The Nomad of Nowhere, right? So it's like... Mm-hmm. If the nomad's dead, that kind of that kind of puts a hole. I, but I don't know if this is just shit. like a one one. I don't think so. I don't think this is a one. Do you think season. they have a plan for not a one season thing, but like a uh, just a brief thing, and then nomad will be fine, and nothing really will. Change. Oh yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or do yeah, you yeah. think something will change? And I, I, just really I think don't it know will, will. I think it will be something changes. changing. Like say the nomad is is kind of human like i feel like it's whatever spell will be broken like maybe now he gets to talk you know what i mean because obviously there's some magical stuff going on with him where if he does a good deed he gets more it seems like he gets more power or something like that what right? if what if Go the ahead. nomad is able to like pass the magic on to scout before and now scouts the scouts nomad magic, of nowhere and then scout can then understand the nomad and maybe oh, oh, oh. like it's kind of like one for all where you have all the different people who have had in your head yeah that's why they don't talk they're just having so many head conversations <laughs> that would be wild though if scout was the new nomad and it yes. was like all this like conflict between scout and, and you top. could and you could still have the other nomad of nowhere be a character because he could he could be like in her head like avatar or whatever or he could see, she could see him, mm-hmm. so we would, would still be, be able yes. to see him as the audience. But other people wouldn't interact with exactly. him. Exactly. Yes. So I like that. That's and a good idea. And then it would be, like, Scout, and then inevitably Toph will, like, join the crew. Yeah, and, and that can be, be this whole conflict yeah. between Scout, like, Toph not wanting to bring now her friend in who has inherited the nomad powers and all that stuff. Uh, it could That's be the idea that people don't realize, um... The, the magic was was handed off to to, to scout mm-hmm. and maybe like in the next two episodes she slowly realizes that and then realizes oh. maybe her mission against El Rey or and the king and like all yeah. that stuff like that's where we're going yeah. that'd be cool too yeah so but I feel like he's just sort of like made out of inanimate objects or something and then he's okay, okay you know I, what I mean I was joking when I said no that I'm he was serious just... I think that he is something like that like not exactly like that but definitely like something along the lines and I hope of that. that when Scout starts making rock boys she calls him rock boys like oh that's a rope boy that's a bullet boy that's a gun boy that's the thing rope so boy, why why didn't the nomad clap and then the gun shoot maybe that's his final maybe that will be his final thing that he does is he'll clap with the gun and then shoot the gun will shoot red man the idea is that he can't didn't they mention it before like if someone's holding something he can't do it right but if he throws it away and it's like in it neutral yeah then i i remember that now yeah yeah, yeah. you're right you're right Mm -hmm. that makes sense never mind but yeah i'm into the hard lore you're into the hard nomad of nowhere lore lore, are you (laughs) yeah but it could kind of be like you know like you said sort of like avatar where like there's a new avatar every hundred years in scout scouts it right because they've been they've been looking for the nomad for a hundred years now so it's like it's time for a new one nomad was just chilling with the boys i know but i feel like the problem is if he dies now that'll leave a lot of unresolved stuff you know what i mean mean? still like we don't so you can still learn because we don't know anything about him like we don't know because the you know scout said something like so, where are you going anyway? And the champion was like, oh, yeah, I'd like to know. You know what I mean? Like, so there's obviously, I think that's going to be something we find out soon. They may also do, like, a lore piece. Like, remember a couple like episodes Ray, ago where the they did the El Rey lore thing? You could they have may... the Nomad lore. Maybe the Nomad lore will be the last episode when... Yeah, maybe. When, when Scout and hate and Or even the, the next, or even the 11th, right? Because I think... Ten is gonna work out like I said, so it's gonna show top first, and then we'll find out what happened in the Nomad after. Then maybe eleven will be like the lore stuff, and then twelve will be sort of like the cliffhanger and I, stuff for I the season. Like, I feel I'm like watching. having the top stuff, the top and scout reunion, be the second season. Would, would but I don't mean like reunion. I just mean like we're gonna see top first. Like we're oh, gonna okay, see her yeah, first. Probably. Because they're going to try to hide what happens to the Nomad as long as possible. And, and I think that Same. maybe uh, Scout will learn of the Nomad's, like, crew mission, and then, like, she'll get into a really bad spot, and then it's just like, hey, Toph, like, you can you can save your friend, or you can be, like, El Rey's new general after they kill Taurus or something. Yeah. And he's like, no. Also, you know who Taurus is uh, voiced by? Who? Uh, Pro ZD. Oh. Someone, yeah. That's random. Yeah, I know. And kind of weird. Kind of weird, but he also did a pretty like, good job of it. I mean, because the character's black, and Sun Wan no, is. Taurus. Oh wait, 
Is Taurus, it Taurus the bull the... guy. Oh, not the oh, champion. Okay. I was gonna say, like, also, that's a little weird. <laughs> also, if you don't like, like, white people or Asian person playing, like, that's it. I know, but that's just in. so random, you know what I mean? No, no uh, Taurus. Taurus is the guy from the cloud. Asian people can't be balls. <laughs> I mean, like, in an <laughs> no, 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 abstract no. sense, no, no you can't no, be no. an Asian human. Unless, I guess, you're a I, furry. I remember who you're Why talking you about now. Why do you dislike furries so no, much, no, no, no. Cal? I thought, I, I remember who you're talking about now. I, I just found it weird that you brought it up now instead of the episode where Taurus was. Well, I, I only remember, learned of it afterwards. I, I remember... I remember that information from the episode that Taurus was in, but I got confused because you were talking about that now, and so my brain associated I that only, with the champion. I only learned about Taurus so was like, That's him really after rigged. the episode. But yeah, so it could be like, choose, you know, comfy life under Taurus, or comfy life as, like, Taurus' yeah. replacement, or be with Scout, and she picks Scout, and maybe that You mean the like, champion's replacement? Champion, but then, I, that's, I don't know. That's why you're confusing me. <laughs> Well, well, somewhat, or I'm saying, like, if they beat El Rey or whatever oh. by the end of the second season, hypothetically. That's, like, and that's, a long, like, that's a long, that's a long time. Nah. I don't think so. I think if there's four champions, we're gonna do one a season. Like, it's gonna be, like, Ruby and the, and the Relics, like, one, one per if season it, does, If it was one you know per I mean? season, then we'd be on the last season right now. What do you mean? Ruby? Yes. No, but I'm saying, like, now with the one, Relics introduction. Okay. So I'm saying it's the same as if, the Relics starting now. I don't down. know if that's... Anyways. I don't know. Anyways. Regardless, that's where I think it's going. That's yeah. where my guess is going. I think that would be very interesting. Anyway, it's been real, Higher guys. It's been fun. But yeah, I think we have a lot of good ideas floating around here, so I guess we'll see. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, remember that you guys should become patrons over on Patreon if you guys want to support the channel. And we will see you later. Bye! Hello everybody, it is Kellaxon here. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember that you guys should become $10 patrons over on Patreon or any level of patrons as $10 patrons get to request uh, videos that we get to do. Our $5 patrons get early access to basically uh, all of the content uh, that we uh, put out among other rewards. And our $1 patrons get access to our Discord server. So if any of this interests you, you guys should check it out. Bye guys.